going to tell you how you can cure cancer with gold. But before I get started, I have to put a disclaimer out there that I'm not a doctor, even though I play one on TV. And I'm not giving you medical advice, all right? For that, you got to go seek your healthcare professionals or your doctors. So this is just for entertainment purposes only. All right, now this is a very complex subject matter that we're going to be talking about. So to help me illustrate all this complex material on a more simpler format, I'm going to have Deepak Chopra illustrate it for you. Yeah, I bet you didn't see that one coming, did you? Now, for those of you out there that haven't heard of Dr. Deepak Chopra, I'm going to give you a basic bio background on this guy. He's very much into spiritualism. He's into self-healing, things of this nature. And for the last 30 years, he's been at the forefront of the meditation revolution. So I figured what better person to have do all the narration than him, right? And if you want to know more about him, I'll leave links down below so you can click on it and learn more about what he does and what he has done for the last 30 years. So without further ado, Deepak, time to rock and roll, brother. In the second century AD, during the Han Dynasty, a Chinese author and alchemist known as Wei Boyang wrote, Gold is the most valuable thing in all the world because it is immortal and never gets rotten. Alchemists eat it and they enjoy longevity. Nearly two millennia later, the precious metal may live up to the hype. It's part of a cutting-edge approach to prolong the lives of cancer patients. Wei Boyang and other ancients who associated gold's long-lasting luster with good health were surprisingly prescient. Gold's immortality, the fact that it doesn't interact with most compounds and thus doesn't corrode, makes it essentially non-toxic to the body. This characteristic gives it huge potential value in medicine, for mundane procedures like dental fillings, and in the era of nanotechnology for diagnosing and treating deadly diseases. There are an enormous number of people using gold nanoparticles. We're talking hundreds and hundreds of researchers around the world. One surprising approach comes out of research conducted at Rice University in Texas, along with the MD Anderson Cancer Center and other institutes. Oncologists are now injecting cancer patients with ultra-tiny gold-wrapped spheres. The nanoparticles, each smaller than a red blood cell, accumulate in a tumor after slipping out of the bloodstream through little holes in the tumor's rapidly growing vessels. Once there, the gold waits until an oncologist blasts it with near-infrared light. Despite gold's shiny quality, the spheres are made to absorb rather than reflect certain wavelengths of light, a property used against the cancer cells. We artificially contaminate the tumor. The nanoparticles convert the light into heat and as temperatures in the tumor climb above 104 degrees Fahrenheit, the cancer cells deform, shrivel, and then disintegrate. In experiments in mice, Krishnan is zapping the scraps of pancreatic cancer remaining after a tumor is removed surgically. But clinical trials in people, including for cancers of the head, neck, and lungs, are targeting tumors without surgery. If so, a 17th century herbalist who also recognized the curative powers of gold may prove true today. For gold is cordial, and that's the reason your raking misers live so long a season. In 1857, Michael Faraday discovered the light scattering properties of suspended gold microparticles, which is now known as the Faraday Tyndall effect. Fifty years later, it was found that gold nanoparticles, or GNPs, irradiated with an electromagnetic wavelength at 820 nanometers were able to increase the surrounding temperature which could be used for the treatment of a solid tumor. Over the last 20 years, many studies have reported GNPs of various shapes, including nanoclusters, nanorods, nanoplates, nanoshells, nanocages and nanostars, which have widely studied in various cancer. In particular, these rods, cages and clusters have been used extensively to treat gastrointestinal cancer. Recent advancements in the multifunctional design of gold nanoparticles allow for the generation of localized heat in the proximity of cancer tissues and additionally allow the delivery of multiple desired drugs in a controlled and targeted manner. Gold nanoparticles have many benefits that make them suitable for the photothermal treatment of cancer such as they can be administered into the local tumor area while minimizing non-specific distribution, they can be activated via near-infrared laser light, creating the ability to penetrate deep into biological tissues, 
and they can be modulated to create multifaceted cancer, PTT, and drug delivery systems. Gold has been utilized for medical applications dating back centuries. In addition, its photothermal and photoacoustic properties, along with its ability to be manufactured at the nanoscale and functionalized with various drugs and targeting molecules, have caused gold nanoparticles to be recognized as an ideal multifunctional material for cancer therapeutics. Because of its successful documented use in in vitro preclinical and clinical studies, it has been demonstrated that GNP technology is a promising tool and it is worth investigating future directions that would allow for a further evolution of the use of GNPs for cancer therapeutics. We're used to seeing it in jewelry, but what about medicines, specifically cancer medications? That's the latest approach to treating prostate cancer. And that's right, guys. You know, the beauty of gold is that it's inert in the body until you hit it with a laser beam. Then it gets hot. So if you could put really tiny bits of gold into a tumor and then light it up with a laser, the heat would kill the cancer. Doctors have now figured out how to do that. My doctor did a di uh, blood test and a, a digital exam and told me that I had, uh, it looked like I had prostate cancer. In fact, a biopsy confirmed that Marty Feeney had prostate cancer, but he didn't want surgery or radiation for his cancer because of the possible side effects. Urinary symptoms of leaking urine or not able to empty their urine, as well as sexual side effects, which include erectile function, may not be as good as it was before. So we saw Dr. Art Rastin had at Mount Sinai Hospital, who explained that prostate cancer is usually just a couple of spots within the prostate. So why go after the entire gland with radiation or surgery? We can treat a specific spot within the prostate while sparing the normal tissue, which include the nerves and the urinary sphincter, so we can avoid those side effects. The key to this focal therapy is first advanced imaging that finds just the cancerous spots within the prostate. Now, here's where the gold comes in. The nanoparticles are 50 times smaller than even a red blood cell. After they're injected, they circulate harmlessly in the body. But because blood vessels and cancers are leaky, the tiny gold particles escape and lodge in the tumors. In the OR, Dr. Rastinhad puts a laser fiber right into the cancer within the prostate. The laser's been designed just to excite the particles. It doesn't get absorbed by water and or blood. So the particles heat up and then they destroy the tissue, allowing us to spare the rest of the prostate. Marty was the first patient in the U.S. to have the gold nanoparticle treatment. It's been almost a year and not only is he cancer free. It's been great. There, there never were side effects. Now, in fact, Marty told me he was riding a bike within a week of his treatment. Dr. Rastinet has treated 10 men so far in a clinical trial, and all are doing well. Ooh, was that deep enough for you, huh? Oh, I tell you what, there's unlimited possibilities with gold, and scientists are just now realizing its potential. And hopefully here before too long, scientists will unlock the true potential of what gold can do for the human body. Oh, and don't forget, we're giving away silver bars, gold nuggets, specimen gold, and I got bags of pay dirt everywhere. I'm just trying to give this stuff away. But you know how to be a patron. Come on, you've seen this a million times. Click patron link, make $10 pledge. If you like what you're seeing, let me know down below. If you don't like what you're seeing, let me know down below. If you got some new drawers I can have, leave them down below too. What is that? Because these are wet and sticky from all the heat. And if you want to know secret numbers that will lead you to large gold deposits, go ahead and click and watch that video. If you understand anything about sacred geometry, that's the video for you, I'm telling you. Lead you right to it. And I'll see you in the next video.